you hungry or something? Would you like to yeah, hop right up here? It'd be great. What's your name? Chris. Chris, say hello, Chris, everybody. Yeah. Come on down this side, Chris. Okay, hi, Dad. That's the way to say it. And Chris, where are you from? Mount Laurel. Okay. You know where Mount Laurel is? Yeah. yeah. I know, but but uh, they do, so that's great. So uh, nice to have you here, uh, Chris. I'm going to have you do something completely different than what I'm going to do right now. Okay, so you don't have to mimic me, but in a few minutes, I'm going to put my arms like this, and then I'm going to say to you, but I, but you don't need to do it. Yeah, I think I made that pretty clear to everybody else. <laughs> so Chris, I'm going to go like this, and I'm going to say to you, okay, Chris, that's your cue. And when I sit, say, okay, Chris, I want you to give me just your left hand. You can face toward me a little bit. Just your left hand. I want you to put your left hand on my elbow, just like that. Right there, okay? Then, Chris, I want you to do several things four times. Here's the first one. One, two, three, four. Good. Then you can hold that finger up in the air. You lift your hand off, and I want you to put the end of your finger right between these two of my knuckles. Do you see which ones? And I want you to go like this. One, two, three, four. So In the back of my elbow, yeah. Back of my elbow, right? yeah. And if it helps to come under your breath like that, that's fine. You don't have to, but you know, yeah. Then, Chris, why don't you imagine you have a BB? One, two, three, four, like that. And then the last thing, Chris, you can lift your hand off, and I want you to put the end of your finger one half inch away from my thumb, right there. Yeah, that's right, right there. And, except don't touch it, one half inch away. And I will reach out and pinch it. And when I pinch it, I want you to pull your arm way back like this. Okay. All right. So I would like to rehearse this, Chris, because I'm not feeling real confident right at the moment. So, <laughs> so I'll say, your cue will be, okay, Chris. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. And then a half inch away, and I will pinch, and you pull it. Perfect. Chris, okay. Very good. Let's just stay right here. That's your spot, okay? And I'm gonna bring this prop out. And uh, John, if we can have those lights turned down, that would be great. All right. And uh, and even that other light too, if we can. There we go. Thank you. All right. And uh, Chris, you know your cue, okay? And then you'll have to move over when I say that, because because your arms aren't long enough. All right, so, but you're fine right there. Okay, all right. So uh, Chris and I are going to use this screen, and we're going to tell you a little story. <laughs> when I was a child, I slept every night in the room by my father's study, where the light from the hall shone on the wall and gave life to my shadowhood. A play in three acts, written by Big Bobby Stromberg. <laughs> Age seven, entitled The Rabbit and the Hound. Act one. <laughs> okay, this would be The Rabbit. Seeing his normal size, and almost pleading, he'd say, I don't mind if you play, but no more horses around those guys here. Talking. 
rabbit and the hound. Act two. Hey, Dad, get down the road drink of water, please. No, son, you don't need more water. You can wait until morning. Oh, yeah, Dad. That's right. I don't need any water. <laughs> uh, I'll leave this a little longer for those of you who are still trying to get it. Okay, Chris. <laughs> 